Hello and welcome to TradeX Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence and here is the seafood news for the week of January 27, 2020. In this week's episode, we give you forecasts and predictions from the 2020 seafood market. But first, let's go to Kyla Ganton to provide clarification on recent discussions surrounding flounder tariffs. Thanks, Tasha. The start of the year brought relief to many importers of Chinese processed seafood after over 16 months of expensive and dynamic tariffs imposed by the U.S. Trade Representative. Several products were granted exclusions to lift the tariffs, which sparked interest from flounder importers who are currently paying a 25% tariff on imports from China. It was rumored that flounder tariffs were removed, but upon further investigation, only one code for IQF flatfish fillets is now exempt. Importers of IQF flatfish fillets labeled as either Greenland halibut, turbot, sole flounder halibut or turbot will still pay the 25% tariff as only flatfish species other than the items just listed are now excluded. The most common HTS code for flounder is still included, but there are rumors that we could see tariffs lifted for all of the flatfish HTS codes within the next few months. Stay tuned. Back to you, Tasha. Thanks, Kyla. As we enter the new decade, the seafood market has hit its annual winter peak in pricing before new inventory comes in. Kicking things off with both cod markets, our prediction is that for raw materials for Pacific and Atlantic cod will continue to rise. For ACOD, our sources on the ground in China are reporting raw material prices at $45.50 per metric ton U.S. dollars, or $2.06 a pound, whereas offers from Norway are as much as $47.50 per metric ton U.S., or $2.15 a pound, as reported by UCN at GSMC 2020. Our prediction is for ACOD prices to remain steady or to rise slightly based on sheer order volume. However, UCN is reporting at GSMC that there is a possibility prices could pass $5,000 per metric ton U.S. or $2.27 a pound. Whatever might transpose through the year, our buyer alert here is to caution against taking on too strong of an inventory position, as all markets can only bear a certain price level. For Pacific Cod, raw material prices are roughly between 2,900 per metric ton on the low end for Russian FAS trawl to roughly 4,000 per metric ton U.S. on the higher end for Alaskan longline, translating to $1.32 and $1.81 per pound, respectively. Our prediction is that pricing will rise on stronger raw material pricing. In fact, all cod markets should continue to rise in price until the Gulf of Alaska fishery reopens and or they increase the total allowable catch, which will bring the market back down. The closure of the Gulf of Alaska cod fishery is equivalent to removing an estimated 26.5 million pounds of cod from the marketplace in 2020. This will really hurt one frozen cod supply, as this cod fishery supplies the plant's raw materials to produce fillets. Other factors to consider are that Russian boats will be catching pollock until April or May, and there are talks that the U.S. quota will see further reductions next year by about 15%. Go to our most recent Pacific Cod and Atlantic Cod episodes if you want to view catch data. The following episode is brought to you by Sinbad Gold. Sinbad Gold is our all-natural premium quality brand produced in Asia. Our Sinbad Gold all-natural line of products guarantees the highest quality of twice frozen production while remaining completely additive free. If you're interested, find out more at our website at tradexfoods.com slash our brands. Now on to Pollock. Alaskan Pollock had a steady year, harvesting over 1.5 million metric tons again, and preliminary catch totals for Russian Pollock are for just over 1.5 million metric tons as well. Alaska's Pollock total allowable catch will remain relatively the same at about 1.55 million metric tons, whereas Russia will see its TAC increase to slightly 1.83 million metric tons. Our prediction will be for Pollock prices to drop slightly on lower raw material costs from Russia. Many large producers of Alaskan Pollock are producing many value-added products and have become net purchasers, which will put pressure on raw material purchasing and may pressure the raw materials to become short in supply. As reported at GSMC last week, there is a lot of product in the U.S. cold storages right now due to the December 15th impending tariff that never happened. Although our prediction is for a slight drop in Pollock pricing, we may see a slight uptick 
after Chinese New Year as plants rush to buy raw material for production. This concludes part one of our 2020 forecasts and predictions series. Tune in next week as we report on other whitefish, salmon, and many more. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence. Buy smart and eat more seafood.